Okay, so a lot of you out there know that I make uh, some tools. So this is the latest one. This is an ignition pickup, a secondary ignition coil over plug pickup. Uh, so basically what this is, it just picks up the magnetic field on top of the coil pack. It's a wee tool that I've made. I've just put some you know, terminals and cases around it. Uh, you can see a bit of green one as well. So I'll be make more of them. So the first tool that I've been making is pulse sensors that are really popular. Anybody on my Facebook page knows that I sell quite a few of these. Uh, just a bit closer look, these, aren't, these have been in my drawer for ages so they're kind of grubby but I've got some nicer ones in production just now. Back to ignition coils. So I'm just going to connect it with the cars. As I said I've got some Velcro at the bottom, you can see, and I've put some Velcro at the top of the coil packs. So I'm just going to set it up, I'll bring you over to the car, we'll get a look at the waveform. You can just connect the green one, just let that hang a wee bit over there. You see I've got some Velcro at the top of the coil pack, and I'll connect the red one. Okay, and just put the red one, so obviously I've got my leads coming out of the scope, I've got uh, a 20 to 1 attenuator on them, it just brings the voltage down on the screen. So I suggest you get them. So, just, as I said, put that one in. And if I find the end of the other one that I threw over here, that's there. I put that in the green channel, which would be channel B. It should be red on the screen. So, just try to do this with one hand. So, put it, these are obviously stackable on the Pico, uh, these leads. So, as you can see, like I've just explained, Get the two set up. We'll go and start the car. So in the peak I've got it on inverted, so naturally they come up, uh, they start running upside down. So I've got the channel, channel is I've got an ignition probe, and it's as I said it's set to inverted, I'll just show you. So if I get down, looks like I'm down at the bottom. Second ignition. See I've selected this one, I'll select it again. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll run the scope. And it's triggered, uh, so I'll take the trigger off to start, right? I'll take the trigger off, none, and it should just start rolling when I press play. So we'll go for more time on the screen so we can see the two of them rolling. The green channel is here, it's just behind the blue, so I'll just raise them off each other. So let's go and start the car. Start the car. Okay, so I'll show you my setup. So I've got my ignition uh, pickups. You can see I've just got them set on the top of the coil packs. You can see there's some Velcro on the bottom. Just stuck a wee bit of Velcro on the top of the coil pack. I'll just set it on the coil pack. I've got two connected, and I've got my scope set up up here. So just get a black lead, uh, and I've just stacked it on the back of my leads. You can see I've got yellow and blue and I've got an attenuator, it just brings the voltage down on the screen. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just go and start the car and we'll look at the waveform. Okay, there we go. Okay, engine's running. You get my strikes on the screen. So, just put a smaller time scale. You see them rolling. I'll just zoom in on them so you can see. So, I've got the zoom feature. You can see the voltage scale is a bit different on the red channel. Okay, looks pretty good. Just get on the red one. Come back out. Play it. Should be playing. You just see them rolling across. So we'll do the trigger on the blue. Uh, repeat. Uh, should be on A. I'll put it about there. And then we'll shorten this time down. Pretty cool. You can see a spark line there. 
just obviously going up. And then you can see the burn, the burn time on the inside the cylinder there. That's pretty cool. So that's easy, as I said. The homemade uh, ignition coil pickups. Made them myself. I sell them on my Facebook page. If anybody's interested, just come into my Facebook page. Uh, also make pulse sensors as well. I'll just touch on that. I'll make a separate video on the pulse sensors, but I wanted to show you my ignition setup. A few, a few of the boys have been asking for them, and that's the first time I've tested them myself this morning. So it's all good. It's pretty good. Thank you very much.